Hey everyone, this is Southern Gunner 27 and today I went and harvest. Yes, these are what you're looking at. Yes, these are acorns. I believe they're white oak. I'm not sure. Maybe red. I can't really tell the difference between acorns. What <clears throat> the first step of doing things is you don't want any ones that like are cracked. See like how this one's just perfectly. No cracks, no holes. If there's holes, there's probably a worm in there. You don't want worms. Anyway, not a lot of people know the uses for acorns. Well, one use that I would use is to make a stew. And, which, and that's mainly using like the crushed versions of these full of meats and chunks is really good. And one of my favorite things is making flour out of them. This is what this is here for. <sighs> Outside, I ha I collected a gourd, a canteen gourd. I'm gonna dry them into a bowl and put the powder in here. In the in the gourd, and well, hopefully these will make they make great bread. They make perfect for cornbread. And when you open up, there's like a uh, pretty much like a nut. And what you do is to make sure that they're ripe is you see how there's a pot fill it up with water and whatever floats that's probably an indication that it's bad but the thing is with this technique it's not always necessarily bad because you know you always take stuff out then if you boil the tamins out what you have to do is to boil them out <clears throat> smash them up crack them up whatever you want to call it Make them to a fine powder. Then take all the run it through water, dry it out. Use a colander, and you pretty much get your flour there. But I'm gonna make stews out of these, and they're gonna be really awesome. Then after I'm done with boiling them, you put them in yes the oven here for about 140 degrees for about two to three hours to for them to harden. Because, you know, you don't want wet, wet nuts. That's just wrong. Anyway, well, that's the end of this video. This is the uses of acorns. Neat little guys. You'll get a bunch from one tree. It takes about 50 years to start the trees. Well, see you next week.